Hello guys, welcome to a new video. And in this new video, I'm going to go over what Crypto Maps is, uh, and what IPsec profile are, and how they are used, and how they are different. So, because there's a lot of, uh, well, first, even for me, when I start doing this research, how Crypto Map and IPsec profile worked, and how they were different. So, in Ike version 1, you are allowed to use Crypto Map, but in Ike version 2, um, Cisco does not want you to use Crypto Map if you're using an iOS, if you're using a router. Um, they want you to use the IPsec profile only if you are on an ASA firewall. They want you to use Crypto Map because the ASA firewalls. Only support crypto map, and that's why they did not remove it entirely from Ike version 2. So, whenever you are configuring Ike version 2, you are going to be using an IPsec profile. And what is an IPsec profile, and what is a crypto map? So, let's go ahead and start with crypto map. So, crypto map, and you have seen my, the video before where I have configured Ike version 1, um, and crypto map and crypto IPsec profile are one and the are one and the same. Uh, it is the legacy way, which is a map, and the new way, which is a profile. So, crypto map is it was basically for um, Ike version two, and the new way, which is the IPsec profile, um, is now for Ike version two. And as you can see right here, the old way, which is which are crypto map, and the new way, which are um, IPsec profile of configuring Ike phase two okay not like phase one like phase two and in crypto map you need to specify the following so you need to tell the when you configure the crypto map you need to tell the router how to protect the traffic which we, which we use tra a transfer set for that and what to protect which we use an ACO and what is the remote VPN peer those are the three things that we configure when we do a crypto map. If you have seen my video before, where I have configured um, Ike Phase 2, I have done this before. And since you need to add um, an ACL, you need to create an, an ACL before you, and it needs to be an extended ACL because you need to specify the source and the destination. And since you, and, and whenever you're going to configure a crypto map, um, you need to configure an ACO before you do that, so they can you then you can attach that to the crypto map, and also the remote VPN peer. You need to know the uh, remote VPN peer and the transform set. So you need to create a transform set, and here is the configuration of the crypto map. As you can see right here, we first configure a an extended access list as you can see this one i'm permitting this uh, network over here 10.10.22.0 with a wildcard max of this and then 172.16.10.0 uh, which is my my destination this is the source and then i'm going to tell it like what do you want to protect what do you want to transport the data so the way you want to do that is by creating a transform set so you do a crypto ipsec transform set and you give it a name and you um encrypt the data and then you do some data integrity as well and you configure the mode tunnel to be tunnel and then after that we can just go ahead and create a crypto map so we need to combine the acl which is this one right here the transform set which is this one right here and the peer ip address that you need to get so to do that you do a crypto map and you give it a name i give it a name of vpn and then the sequence number which was 10 and then you do IPsec ISAC AMP. And then I'm telling if the traffic matches, um, so you do a match address, CMAP ACL, which was that extended ACL that I created. And then going to this location, which is a set peer to this location. And then we use the following um, encryption, which is a transform set, CMAP T set, which, one, which was the transform set that I created. And then after that, you go into the interface and you activate the crypto map by 
attaching that crypto map to the interface by doing a crypto map VPN. So that's how um, a crypto map is configured. I think it's a lot, a lot more step back to back than what the profile is. And a profile is is the, the the same. Like I said, the same goes if you use IPsec profile, where you need to specify the same thing. So how to protect the traffic. So we're still going to be using the trans transform set. So we need to create a transform set in when we're going to create an IPsec profile. And then you need to tell it um, what you want to protect, which no longer requires an ACL. And I will tell you why on the next slide. Oh, even right here. So, um, and we do not, we no longer require an ACL because um, it is based on the routing cost. I'd be on routing calls. So IPsec profile is always applied to a GRE VTI interface. So we need to create an interface tunnel, whatever number you want to give it. Thus you have a logical interface associated with the IPsec tunnel. So you no longer need an, an ACL because everything that goes through that tunnel and the tunnel is going to have a, a source and a destination IP and everything that goes through that tunnel um, is going to be encrypted. So we don't need an ACL. So the the tunnel source and destination is actually replacing the SEL. And also the remote peer is no longer specified either because when you do a source and a destination, um, you, or, you also add a, an IP address. Um, for actually, it's the, the other way around. So whenever you do an, uh, it, you do not require, you do not require an SEL because the actual GRE and VTI interface has its own IP address. And that IP address replaces that ACL. And for the peer, we no longer need a peer like we did over here. But we set um, set the peer to this. We no longer do that because the in the GRE tunnel, you specified this, the destination. Um, and it can be statically configured or dynamically learned as well. So you do not need the ACL for the IP set profile and you do not need the peer either because everything is uh, configured by using the GRE interface. And here's how you can configure the IP set profile. So you still use the only thing that we use from what the crypto map uses is the transform set. So we configure transform set, we encrypt it with whatever we want, and then we do a we run a hashing algorithm for data integrity and we tell it that we're going to use the mode either transport or tunnel mode and then after that instead of creating a crypto map we create the crypto ipsec profile and we give it a name and then after that all we need to do to this profile is we need to set the transform set so this transform set since we're going to be using it we are going to attach it to this profile and after this is attached to the profile, now the profile is already all configured. And all you need to do is to configure a interface tunnel one, which is a GRE tunnel. You configure the tunnel source, which is going to be the local um, gigabit interface. And the destination, which is 40.1.1.2. And these two right here, these two commands, replace the ACL for the crypto map. Okay. Um, and this one, the tunnel mode, I'm just telling them that we're going to use the GRE IP. GRE is the payload and the transport is IPv4, which we give it a command right here for IP. And then when we set the IP address um, of the actual tunnel, what we're replacing right here, uh, we are replacing the actual the peer. Uh, from this configuration. So this uh, the set peer to this one right here on the crypto map is being replaced by this IP address. Is it? Uh, no, actually, uh, I got confused again. So it's the other way around. So the tonal source gigabit zero zero and the total destination is the one replacing the um, peer. So whenever we configure this tunnel destination and we give it a destination, this one is replacing the um, set peer on the crypto map. And the SEL is being replaced by this IP address of 50.1.1.1, which is given to this um, 
tonal interface. So that's going to be the IP address of the interface. And this one is replacing the ACL from the crypto map, which is this ACL right here, which is being attached into the crypto map right here to match address CMAP um, ACL. That's what it is, okay? And then after you configure that, you need to go ahead and attach the tunnel protection, which we use the IPsec profile, and then we attach the profile, which also has attached a transform set. So you create a transform set, create a profile, in the profile, you attach that transform set, you create the tunnel, and in the tunnel, you attach that um, profile, the IPsec profile, which has the transform set. And the tunnel um, has its destination, which was replaced at set peer address, and it has its, its own IP address, which replaces um, the ACL. So this one replaces the peer, and this one replaces the ACL. Okay? So now moving on, and as you can see right here, you can compare side to side. As you can see on um, the crypto map side, we actually configure, like I said before, that um, access list, that extended access list, which is being replaced by this IP address right here. So we no longer need that, right? We still use the transform set, as you can see right here. It's the first one that we configure with the mode of tonal. Um, and then this crypto IPsec profile is replacing this crypto map right here. So we no longer need this crypto map. So anything inside the crypt this crypto map, um, we do not need it. Um, and then we also do not need to um, add the transform set to the crypto map, right? Because that's being replaced with the IPsec profile and we just add that transform set to the profile. And also we do not give a, we do not um, activate that crypto map because on the profile, we're not using a crypto map. We're using an actual tunnel. So since we create this logical this logical um, interface over here, it's being replaced by this. So we no longer need this either. Okay, so I hope you guys um, learned a little bit of what I was telling. I know it got, it got confusing a little bit. I got confused twice, um, but I was able to um, call myself on what I was saying and hopefully you guys um, learn the difference between the crypto map and the IPsec and what is being replaced um, by the IPsec and how the IPsec is and how you can configure an IPsec. So on the next video, we are going to configure a GRE tunnel on top of an IPsec um, using the profile. We're not going to use crypto map, we're going to use a profile and it's going to be the same as this. Um, comments that I have right here. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Twitter at CCNA Devs. And of course, if you don't have a Twitter account, go ahead and create one and then follow me. I post all my videos and all my, and I also post questions and discussions. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.